Hi, this is Allison with Copper Ridge Dog Training, and we are going to talk about socializing dogs today. When we talk about socializing a dog, we don't necessarily need you to go put your dog in front of a bunch of other dogs and people. Uh, it's honestly not really necessary um, because one, we don't know what those interactions are going to look like, whether they'll be positive or not. Um, and we don't know if those other dogs that you're trying to socialize with are friendly or well behaved. Um, and so socializing in that way doesn't really get you to the point that we would hope it would. Instead, what we like to think of uh, when we're talking about socializing is exposing your dog to as many new sights, sounds, environments, and textures as possible at a young age so that your dog becomes a very well-rounded dog. What this does is it really helps your dog become uh, indifferent in a way to their environment around them because you have continuously exposed them to different floor surfaces. So wood, carpet, gravel, uh, black top, maybe um, different textured rugs, things like that. Um, so that you have a dog that isn't fearful of different surfaces. It may sound silly, but we actually see that a lot. Um, you've also exposed your dog to a lot of different sounds. So car noises, kids laughing, um, uh, crinkling water bottles, um, firework sounds. Um, this will help your dog not be fearful of things in the future um, because it's been exposed to so many things that it just kind of isn't concerned about weird noises. Um, exposing them to different environments. So taking them to stores, taking them to parks, taking them uh, to play in the water. Um, this will give your dog a really good foundation as well because you're teaching them um, that everything is positive, everything is fun. And the more that you can expose your dog to in this way, especially at a young age, the more well-rounded your dog can be. So these experiences as a whole of teaching your dog or showing your dog all of these different environments and textures and sounds and sights will do so much more for your dog than just letting it play with different people and different dogs. Well, while that is an important aspect of it, um, because we do want it to have exposure to those things, um, it's not as beneficial as this side of socializing that we were saying, expose your dog to everything that you possibly can so that you have a dog that really doesn't react to anything because you've, you've shown it so many things in this world that it can just kind of coexist and be really comfortable in whatever environment you put it in. So that's what we're talking about when we talk about socialization. Um, now, I've, I said, obviously, start this with young puppies, but you can absolutely do this with older dogs as well, um, especially if you just got a dog from a rescue or adopting it. Um, start exposing it to as much as you can so that you can really just teach it, hey, this is your life now. You're going to be exposed to new sights and sounds and textures. Let's dive in to make you the most well-rounded dog that we possibly can. If you have questions about socializing your dog, uh, please reach out to us. We would love to have a conversation and help get you on the right path to getting a really well-rounded dog that can exist in any environment.